Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing Cat Bookshelf from Diamond Art Club. So for people who have been watching the channel, uh, you have already seen this box. This is what I call the Black Friday box. I ordered two diamond paintings on Black Friday uh, when Diamond Art Club released a hundred new designs. I only picked two out of a hundred. Um, <clears throat> so I'd ordered them and because of the um, the backlog they had, they had so many orders. Um, it took a bit of time to process and in that time I actually saw another uh, new release after Black Friday and ordered that as well. And they managed to get the, the new one and the Black Friday ones in the same box, so it saved me on shipping, which was quite nice. So I've already unboxed one, um, opened this, and I pulled a box out at random of the three, and that was Pinkie Pie. So if you want to see uh, the review of Pinkie Pie, um, I will put a link in the description, and I'll also put something up here. So Pinkie Pie is done. We have two left. Pinkie Pie was a Black Friday, uh, order. So we have one Black Friday and one after Black Friday. So again, I haven't looked in the box. I pulled one out last time and then just put the box to the side. Haven't looked in it to see which is which. So I'm just going to reach into the box. But before I do that, a quick recap about uh, Diamond Art Club. They are probably the most well-known diamond painting company um, in the world, I would say. I think that's a, a fair assumption. Um, they are very, very well known. Um, if you've been diamond painting for any length of time, you will have heard of Diamond Art Club. And they have a very, very strong following. Um, they produce very high quality diamond paintings, very high quality canvases. They actually uh, produce their own drills now, so they actually make their own drills. No other company does that. Um, they are very, very good. So, as I said, ordered three. I've already done Pinkie Pie. So, this time, um, I'm just going to reach in the box and pull out whatever one I get first. Uh, here it goes. Uh, this is uh, a lot bigger than Pinkie Pie. So I'll put the big box to the side. And then uh, we'll have a look at this. And is that big? It won't actually fit in this picture. So, uh, Diamond Art Club. This is the box that you get inside the box. Unless there is a, a bend in it here which is the first time I've seen that. Still not expecting any problems. The packaging is very strong, so um, really not expecting any problems with it. So just let you see the box. Uh, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. And then we have uh, jaw dropping artwork that you can do at home. No experience required. Uh, have some time to yourself and leave the day's worries behind. Create gorgeous artwork that you can frame in your home makes a great gift for your friends, family and loved ones. And then we have how it works. So just a, a quick rundown, six different steps on how to diamond paint. Then we have the kit contents, premium velvet tarpaulin canvas, color coded resin diamonds, magic diamond applicator, comfort grip, multiplacer and tweezers, two wax pads, craft tray and resealable baggies. Inventory sheet with pre-cut sticker labels. So quite a lot in it. And uh, now to turn it over. As I said, I don't know what this is. Um, you will know because it will be in the title of the video. But uh, I record this before I actually do the introduction. So um, find out what it is. And it is... Square. Square drills. It's pretty big. And it is cat bookshelf this one came out after black friday and as soon as i saw it i thought i really like that so i ordered it 
and as I said managed to get it in time to get bundled with the other two so uh, this is by Randall Spangler Rand Randall Spangler is the artist behind it and it is 87 centimeters by 70 centimeters or 34.3 inches by 24.6 inches so 87 centimeters across and 70 centimeters down so it is pretty big so this is the the typical uh, box as i said nice and strong it's got the 3d sort of holographic stuff going on as well but the thing that we're interested in is what is inside the box so if i get the scissors so this was a this happens all the time i'm not really looking for anything and then suddenly something just pops up and as soon as i see it i think oh yeah i really like that so that's what happened with this one i suppose the, the unusual thing is uh, we don't have any cats my wife and i are both allergic to cats so uh, we don't have any pet cats unlike a lot of diamond painters um, it seems to be a thing um, cat owners like diamond painting and cats like to lay on top of the diamond painting while the owners work on it so we'll get the clear cellophane off and the box um, you know that square drills without actually getting close enough to read it it has this uh, purple blue I always thought it was blue but in the light here it looks kind of purple um, you have this square and if it had been round drills you would get a pink circle so we get the thumbnail on the outside of the box so we know exactly what is inside it without even opening it but we are going to open it so we'll check out what we get inside so we've got the tool kit we've got a little label we've got the canvas and the drills will be inside that just checking the box that i haven't missed anything because i have done that before so nothing else in the box this is a pretty big canvas um okay so we'll have a quick look at the label so diamond art club supply whoop, an adhesive label nice and glossy color label for people who like to keep um log books um, rather than using an app uh, to store all your stuff some people like to keep a physical book so um this comes in really handy for cataloging your stuff so cat bookshelf by randall spangler diamond shape square and then the size um, and it says here peel sticker here use it to organize your stashed kits place it in your logbook or anywhere you like so nice little sticker now we'll move on to the toolkit so this is the the new or newer toolkit um, I'm not sure if they've actually done the whole transition yet but it used to be the bags that you got were sort of uh, semi opaque um, plastic bags and uh, they switched to these ones so if you open a kit and you get this sort of uh, yellow uh, packet um, you know that you've got one of the new kits and there are quite a few differences uh, they upgraded things and we'll talk about that when we open it so reach inside and first thing I pick up is a pen so it is a pink pen but it isn't um, your standard pink pen which I don't have any line around but normally the pink pens are solid pink um, this one is a bit darker and it has uh, little sparkles on it so not not exactly the standard pen but it does have the standard tip and um, the tip is the same as all the tips that you get in all of the kits plastic tip with a brass insert and it just if you just wiggle them they come out of the pen so the pen is actually just a, a plastic straw simple as that and then you have the tip 
and then you just push that back in. So that's the pen. Reach in, see what we get next. Because this is a square kit, we get a set of tweezers and uh, I've just spied two magnets, so I think they have probably come off the cover minder. So I'll have a look at that in a bit. Talk about that in a minute. So Diamond Dark Club branded tweezers, uh, black ones. Um, the ones that I've been getting recently have been pink to white fade. I um, haven't seen black ones for a while. So I don't know if they switch back or if it's just random what you get. But they are branded, Diamond Dark Club name. Um, they are really good quality tweezers. They are nice and solid. They aren't the cheap tin ones that are uh, quite difficult to use. Um, very, very sharp. Um, a lot of people call them the murder tweezers. Um, definitely not a good idea to leave them lying out where the kids can pick them up and play with them. They are extremely sharp, so you get a little cover on them, but very, very good tweezers for diamond painting. And the next thing, getting everything at one time. Um, we'll talk about the squishy first. So we get a squishy. Um, I have noticed that they seem to colour coordinate them. If you get, for example, a blue pen, you'll get a blue squishy, a yellow pen, a yellow squishy, orange pen. I have a few. Um, so they, they colour match, which is quite nice. So the squishy goes over the pen, just push it on. And what that does is it makes the pen slightly thicker and it makes it more comfortable to hold because this is just uh, foam. So a bit more comfortable to hold for a longer period of time. And... Uh, that's it. So pen with a squishy. Go to get the rest of the stuff. I just got to check what's in the bag. It's some heavy. It's a bag of bags. Um, I'll do this now. Normally I do this last, but um, you always get resealable bags with the kit. You can use these to store spare drills. Uh, the number of bags seems to vary. I'm pretty sure with Pinkie Pie I got 19. So we'll count the one that came in because it's the same size. So that's one. I think there's more than 19 in this one. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 bags in this one. As I said, it seems to be kind of random how many you get. So put them to the side, 24 baggies. Um, then we've got the pink wax, uh, Diamond Art Club's pink wax comes in a little heart shaped box and you get heart shaped wax and you get two pieces. So this is a, a sort of standard thing with uh, Diamond Art Club, they always do these heart shaped wax. Um, most other companies, it's usually a square, a rectangle or a circle, but Diamond Art Club do the heart shape comes in a little box which is nice because um, it keeps the wax clean when you're not using it, helps to stop it dry out and makes it a bit easier to find when it's in a container this size rather than just laying around. So heart shaped wax, um, for the pen we have two multiplacers. If you're working on a diamond painting that has a lot of one colour, rather than placing your drills one at a time, you can use these. You fill up the little channel with pink wax, get a little row of drills in your tray and uh, pick up a few drills at one time and then you can place them. So you just push them in the end of the pen. So you've got your single placer at one end, your multi placer at the other. 
If you move to a bigger area of the same colour, you can take this one out, you can put this one in and again fill the channel up with wax and then you can pick up a row of drills and place them all at the same time. So that is the purpose of the multiplacer. So two multiplacers with the pen and then we have some uh, washi tape. So this is used for various things. Um, your diamond painting will have excess glue. It, the glue goes just over the edge of the picture all the way around and it can be quite irritating because when you're working your hand tends to touch the glue when you're working around the edges. It can get pretty grubby as well, you get dust and stuff sticking to it. So some people use the washi tape to cover that over. So they would put the border all the way around and just try to get the end. So that's your washi tape. So they would put that around the edges and that way their hand doesn't stick to it and they don't get any dust or grime building up on the glue. Um, other people use it, they put it over the clear uh, cellophane that's on top of the actual canvas and they make a grid and then they cut sections. If you try and cut the cellophane it tends to wander, it doesn't go straight, if you pull it at all it will rip. So what people do is they make up a grid using the washi tape, put it on top of the, the cover then they lift the cover up and use scissors and cut along the centre of the washi tape and that stops the, the cut going uh, off. So they make up a grid, they cut the sections as they work them and, and that's how they do it. Some people use the washi tape at the very end and they have it around the edge. So when they frame it they have the washi tape around the edge. Um, it depends on the washi tape. Some washi tape um, matches really well with the picture so people would use it. Um, the washi tape that you get is totally random. I, I, I've never had this one before. Um, I've got one. This is the one that I got with Pinkie Pie. This is uh, black and gold. Totally different. There are probably thousands of different colours of washi tape so um, as I said if it matches the picture some people would use it and keep it uh, to frame. So I'll put that there, so that's the washi tape. Then we've got the tray. I'm keeping the cover minder to last. But um, you get the tray and this is an upgrade as well. The new trays have straight edges um, which I really like. It makes them much more stable. They're bigger than sort of normal um, trays that you get in a lot of kits, things like this, um, where the if you have drills in here, you're working and you accidentally touch the side, the trays flip over very, very easily. The drills end up in the glue, then you end up using your tweezers to pick the drills back off. Very annoying. These don't have a nozzle, these do, so it's easier to pour back into containers without spilling them. Um, the Diamond Art Club ones also come with this little plug, so it's a stopper, so if you're shaking your tray and the, some people when they do that the drills come out the end, so you put the little stopper in it stops drills falling out when, when you're shaking the tray. So uh, the stopper is not a standard thing, there are other companies that have trays with nozzles but they tend to be angled, they tend to be smaller and they don't have a stopper. So this is a bit of an upgrade, um, much much more stable so you can uh, sit your hand on it even when you're diamond painting, it won't flip over. So that's the, the new tray. So we'll go back to these magnets that I found in the tweezers. We've got two little magnets, stick together obviously. So one of these should actually be on the back of the cover minder, which is this little pineapple. So the glue has uh, not done its job, so we've got a little circle here of uh, dried glue. 
the cover minder should be stuck to this I'll have to re-glue it and um, what you do is if you're working with the clear c uh, cover on your canvas you fold it back so you can work on it you put one magnet underneath the canvas you put your cover minder on top and it clicks together and that holds the clear canvas up stops it flipping back over so that's why people use them but obviously the magnet has to be stuck to the cover minder so maybe uh, Diamond Dark Club are needing to upgrade their glue it hasn't I mean I can see the glue I can feel the glue but um, for whatever reason it hasn't stuck and uh, the magnets ended up inside the tweezers so maybe something um, for Diamond Art Club to think about because I have read quite a few people saying that the magnets w uh, had fallen off the, the cover minder before they received it but still um, nice little cover minder I don't have this one uh, again this is totally random um, you don't know what you're going to get the last one I got with Pinkie Pie was a little pink teddy bear holding a strawberry quite a cute one um, this again is very different from anything I have so people tend to collect these so that's it so the new tool kit um, <coughs> the tray is a big upgrade cover minder didn't used to get a cover minder before and the pens are colour coordinated they've always done the good tweezers um, but I think this is the first black set, set I've had for a long time um, normally they're um, pink to white sort of fade so I don't know if they just ran out of the pink and white ones or if it's a random thing and I just happen to have got the pink and white ones all the time but that's it a good uh, toolkit well not including that that was not I mean, that club. Um, a good toolkit it's nice to have the cover minder in it people can use it or people can collect them sometimes people just stick them on the fridge and keep them um, two pieces of wax the washi tape um, the multiplacers and a really good set of tweezers so a really nice uh, tool kit from Diamond Art Club and we'll move this out of the way now we're getting to the canvas and this is a biggie ne nearly makes it so put that other washi tape out of the way I'm going to need a lot of space for this <coughs> so again Diamond Art Club do what makes you sparkle and the canvas is in a plastic bag Don't keep it nice and clean Take this off and just tipping it up. The gels are starting to fall out because there are a lot of gels. I think, um, if I remember correctly, there's over 110,000 drills in this one, and I single place, so it'll be one drill at a time, and it's square drills, so I will be using tweezers. Before we have a look at the drills, that's a lot of drills. Um, we get the little thank you for your purchase booklet, a little bit about Diamond Art Club, tells you what's included in your kit in three different languages, um, step by step video, so you can actually scan this code and you can go and watch a video um, that they have done showing you how to diamond paint, which is really good. Um, an invitation to join the VIP Facebook group to be a member of that group you have to be registered with Diamond Art Club and have purchased at least one diamond painting so when you join the group you know that everyone else has at least one diamond painting um, and then we have the website diamondartclub.com they're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest and it's all at Diamond Art Club. Then we have step-by-step -step instructions if you have never diamond painted before. Uh, six different steps in that. And then we get tips and tricks. So they talk about the washi tape, uh, colour blocking, that's using the multiplacer. Uh, that's your multiplacer tool. 
uh, pre-cut sticker labels, um, checkerboard technique, and Diamond Art Club release paper. Then we've also got um, a 10% off your next purchase, so we have a, a discount code as well. And finally, we have the Diamond Art Club app. And if you download this, your first purchase through the app, you will get a 20% discount, which is pretty good um, against the uh, Diamond Art Club, 20%. It's a nice uh, saving, so definitely worth doing if you're looking to um, save a bit of money. And that is it. So that is the booklet. Then we have the actual uh, key. So we've got a nice big thumbnail in this one, if you want to call it a thumbnail. So you can really see uh, the picture this time. So we have a lot of books with uh, cats on the bindings. And we have uh, a cat lying across the top with a toy mouse, the tail in its mouth, mouth and the, the mouse is hanging over the books. Um, as soon as I saw it, I just really liked it. Simple as that. I, I like the colours. I like uh, all these different cats. I looked at the rendering. When you look at Diamond Art Club's uh, website, you'll see the original artwork, and you can just uh, flip to the right, and you will see a rendering of the artwork. And um, it was very, very good. Um, Diamond Art Club are just they keep up in their game. They're just getting better and better. Um, quite a few times I've flicked from the original artwork to the rendering and it's, it looks so close it's hard to tell the difference, um, which is really good. Um, the fact the canvas is so big helps with that though. The bigger the canvas and if you're using square drills as well, you get more detail. So um, yeah, really, really cool. Again, for people who are old school, um, you can keep track here. You've got a start date and end date, and then you've got your key, which uh, shows you how many different colours you've got. So we've got 1 to 58, so 58 colours in this one. We've got the symbol, which is on the canvas, so all these different symbols. And then we've got colour code, um, which is the DMC code. DMC code is a way of standardising specific colours. So 310, always pick 310. If you see DMC code 310, the drills are going to be black. 310 is the code for black. Um, the only other one that I know off the top of my head is 666, which isn't in this one, but 666 is the number of Lava Red. The official name for 666 is Lava Red. Um, so if you keep your drills that you've got left, Put a little label in the bag or on the bag of the DMC code. If you're working on a kit in the future and you run out of a colour, you can check to see if you've got any spare ones, check your bags, see if you've got that number. If you have, you can use that on a future kit. So a lot of people keep them just on the off chance that they're maybe short a few drills in a, uh, in a diamond painting. Because if you are, I mean, you can always contact uh, Diamond Art Club, they will send uh, replacements. But it could be you're only missing two or three drills. If you've got spares, you can use them. That way you don't have to wait on the delivery of the drills. So you can just carry on with your diamond painting. So it's worth keeping the spares and labelling up the bags so you've got extras. So that's it. That's the, the key. Um, the other thing that I forgot to mention is... Diamond Art Club are very different from any other company. Most companies you will just get a sheet of A4 paper with these details. You will get a little dinky um, thumbnail that probably you can't really make out. Diamond Art Club, full colour, really big. So um, that, that is different. But the big difference is these are actually pre-cut labels. So you can take them off here and put them on your containers. So you don't have to bother labelling your container, you just stick these on. Um, they're the only company I know of that do it. Um, so really, really good quality, um, well thought out as well. So a big, a big plus for uh, Diamond Art Club. 
they, they definitely think about things and try and make things easier for people. So that's the key. Put that to the side. Now, uh, the drills, a lot of drills. They also put a label on uh, the bag with your drills so you can see straight away cat bookshelf so we know we've got the right drills. I suppose it can happen that kits get mixed up but um, as far as I know the only company that I can remember of that actually label their, their uh, drills so you can check straight away that you've got the correct ones. So now we can open this up if we can find the, the seal. So these bags with most companies is a glue strip along the side so we just peel it back and then we get that out of the way because it's so noisy then we have the drills so you can see uh, quite a lot of drills so we'll have a quick skim through them backwards so you can see they've got the DMC codes are on the bags but they don't have the number like 3799 we'll have a look here 3799 is number 51 so if you number your containers if, if you've been diamond painting for a while and you have a, a storage system like I do and you number your containers rather than using the DMC codes um, it takes a bit of time to get things sorted out. So, 3799. And they aren't in any order because it's by weight. So we have these bags. These are the heavier ones. So you can see we've got two bags of 3799. Then we've got two bags of 400. a few bags of uh, 310 but then it goes back up again to 3371 so they aren't in uh, consecutive order most companies you would start at this end and the numbers would go up in sequence in order um, because Diamond Art Club do them by weight you get different sizes of bags and the numbers are all mixed up so it takes a bit longer to actually set up um, the drills, as I said, they produce their own drills. They are extremely shiny. It's it's hard to see when they're just in a bag. But um, the first one I got with the new drills was Batman. And um, they are extremely shiny, um, especially the 310. I think it's maybe just because they are black and then the shine is white, so it's a direct contrast. Um, but these three tens are extremely shiny, so when you walk past the, the picture really sparkles. Um, very, very impressed when I saw them. So that's what happens when you make your own drills and you're not depending on somebody else's quality. So really nice drills. Um, the bases are perfectly flat, none of these little dimples in the base which I like. Um, the colours are very vibrant. Um, again, Diamond Art Club are well known for the colouring of their drills. The colours are very strong, um, again, which makes the, the diamond paintings just look really, really cool. So, just a quick skim through. We've got some ABs as well. We've got uh, Aurora Borealis. And they get that name because they have a special coating on them and it reflects the light um, in different colours. So just depending on the angle of the light, um, these can be, well, they are white, but if I tilt it, I can see purple, green, blue, orange, yellow, red. So the, the colours vary, and again, they're called ABs because they're thinking about Aurora Borealis where the sky sort of changes colours and stuff, so that's why they get that name. So we've got ABs in this as well. And just start a very quick skim through. Um, just checking that the drills move freely in the bag. Um, no problems at all. And sometimes 
with some companies you may get some oil from the machinery leaks into the bag and then you get your drills all clumped together and that causes you problems because you have to get the oil off the drills um, definitely no problems with diamond that club at all go through you can see now we're on to the small bags and you see the difference in the size of the bags so because they work by weight that's why the numbers are all mixed up so another AB blue one this time and this time I can see red blue gold green skipping through again We've got another AB. Uh, everything looks absolutely perfect. And last one, go this side so we can see them better. We've got green ABs. I really like the green ABs um, because the colours that come off it contrast really well against the green. A lot of blues and purples and yellows. Uh, blue, some grey so yeah, really really nice drills really nice quality and that is because they make their own drills so that's how seriously Diamond Art Club take this, they actually spent the money to develop their own drills and um, it definitely shows they are very very good quality drills so, just get all of this out of the way and now finally we get to the actual canvas I'm looking forward to something with these bags they're irritating me so I'm on a, a tilted table here, that's uh, why things tend to slide and roll. So I'm just getting them out of the way. Because I know they're going to end up uh, in the middle of the picture where I don't want them. So now we get to the actual canvas. Very, very soft, very... It, it feels like velvet. Um, no other company does canvases like this. I remember the first time that I got a Diamond Art Club, which is now about three years ago. Um, as soon as I took it out and felt the canvas, it was so different from anything else. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really, really nice canvas. So, yeah, this is huge, huge. So we have the key down the side. 58 colours and then we get first cat Alice the cat dream cat cat on the Orient Express no name in that one the great catsby black cat cats are from Mars a tale of two kitties Happy Catter, or oh, Harry Catter, I wonder where they got that, JK, mm -hmm. um, Tale of Two Kittens, and then we've got more names up the top, as I said, as a big canvas, so I can't get the whole thing in, it's Harry Catter, the cat, the dog, Cats, obviously. Uh, I can't read that one. I think it's Cat of Green Gables. Tom Cat. Little Cat. The Cat. Caterbury Tales. It's difficult to read this just now because the drills aren't on it. Um, once the drills are on, uh, it will be perfectly clear to read. It's just because at the moment all we're doing is looking at the actual canvas. Um, everything will look much better once the drills are down. It will be much brighter 
and it will be much easier to read. Um, it's just these ones have got like a a tan colour and brown on top, so it's kind of hard to to make it out. But the drills will definitely improve that. I just really liked this. The rendering of the cats, I think, is just really good. You can really see the different types of cat, and um, yeah, I just really really like it. And then we've got the cat lying along the top, and it's got the toy mouse got hold of the tail just hanging over and just laying along the top and the book it's laying on is called Of Mice and Cats so a lot of humour in it uh, from Randall Spangler but it's I don't know it's a combination I really like uh, colourful diamond paintings and I really like this all these different cats and they're rendered so well looks really really good and then the actual cat that lies along the top. Just so well done. And then we've got the foot here. We'll have the little pink pads on its feet. We'll really see that once the drills are down. Um, so the thing is you have to remember what we're looking at just now. Even though it looks really good. It's just the canvas. It, it doesn't have the colour and the sparkle with the drills. Um, it, it's going to look... A lot better. I mean it looks good as it is but it's going to look really good when it's finished. So we'll have a, a look, uh, an, up close, oops, an up close look um, at the actual print. This is the problem in the canvas is it's so big. But just looking to see how clear the print is and it's, it's perfect. No problems reading that at all. Poured glue so we don't have to worry about um, waves and air bubbles and all that sort of stuff. The other thing is the Diamond Art Club canvases are self flattening so once you uh, roll it out and just leave it on your table it will just lay down itself so you don't have all the hassle of uh, trying to put it under something like books or under the mattress or whatever. Um, to try and flatten it. You don't have to do that with the uh, Diamond Art Club. The canvas just lays flat itself which is really nice so you, you don't have to waste time uh, waiting on the thing flattening underneath the bed. So um, that is it. Um, really really nice canvas. Excellent rendering. Really really good. Um, but you won't really appreciate it until it's done. Um, when that is going to be, I have no idea. But um, that is it. So that is Cat Bookshelf from Diamond Art Club. So Cat Bookshelf from Diamond Art Club, drawn by Randall Spangler. He is the artist behind it. Um, I am very, very impressed with this one. Uh, the rendering is just so good, really, really good. Um, when I saw the picture, um, as I said, I had ordered two um, on Black Friday and I thought, that's it, no more, those two, that's it. And uh, it wasn't long after that, um, Cat Bookshelf appeared. And as soon as I saw it, flicked to the rendering, and flick back again and back to the rendering and I thought that just looks really good. Um, not disappointed at all. Um, in fact I think it is even better than I thought it was when I looked at the, the picture. Um, really really well done. Um, so much detail. I really like the, all the different cats along uh, the covers, uh, the binders of the books. Um, really really well done. Um, the, the the play on words with the names for the books, a bit of fun there from Randall, but um, just the, the quality of the whole thing, um, the cat laying along the top, um, the feet, which we don't really see just now because uh, the drills haven't been put on, but I could see that we're going to see the little pink pads on uh, the one of the hind feet of the cat. Um, I think when it's finished, we'll really pick up on the detail. Um, as I said, some of the books it was kind of hard to, to read the words, but it was only because it's it's just the canvas we're looking at. Um, once the drills are down and the proper colours are in, 
um, I'm sure it's going to be, uh, we'll see a lot more than we did just looking at the canvas. But very, very impressed. Um, definitely in my top three ever uh, diamond paintings so far. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, really nice. Um, so uh, we'll see how long it is before I actually get around to doing it. But I would say if you are a cat lover and you're looking for a top quality diamond painting, um, I think you would be hard pushed to beat this one. Um, very, very nice. So that's it uh, for today. Um, if you want to see the third diamond painting, I've still got one in the box that I haven't taken out yet. Um, if you want to find out what that is, please subscribe, hit the notification button. And uh, when I uh, come up with a new video, uh, you'll get a little message. And if I uh, actually do a YouTube live, sometimes I do them, just uh, random when I can fit them in. It's quite hard to find time to do them, but I enjoy talking to other diamond painters around the world, getting to know them a bit, rather than just the, the occasional comments in the groups. Um, it's quite nice to actually have a real time conversation going. Um, we talk about diamond painting, um, the weather, everything, anything. Um, I'm originally from Scotland and I now live in uh, Copenhagen, capital city of Denmark. And when I moved here, um, there were quite a few cultural differences. Um, it was quite interesting when I first moved here. Um, and I'm always interested in talking to people around the world and just finding out a little bit about where they live, that sort of thing. Um, it's just quite interesting. So if you fancy dropping in, having a bit of a chat while I work on my latest project, um, you can see what I'm working on and uh, maybe ask some questions if, if you're new or just uh, shoot the breeze if you're not. Um, so yeah, that is it. Very, very impressed with this one. Um, don't know when I'm going to do it because I've sort of got a mental list of at least the next two. Um, but I'm sorely tempted to, to jump this one to the top, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, so that is it for today. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands. Yeah.